while you hyperventilated waiting for the Oculus Rift headset to ship to your very own house. You may have missed the new modules for the International Space Station, DARPA's new plane design, and the headband to help catch concussions. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where the best brush off will always be this teenage kid training his cats in agility to the Hate On Me Hater song. I love that kid. I follow him on Instagram. The wider world is finally waking up to the brain injuries inherent in contact sports, which is good because lately watching football just feels mean. Research shows that players are taking hits, the equivalent of a car accident at 55 kilometers an hour. Samsung developed a product called Brain Band. Sensors within the headband can measure severity of a hit, then the LEDs light up to let everyone know, while the app also sends push notifications to coaches and medical staff. This way, players can get the proper medical attention they need to prevent long-term damage. Also, all the data is stored long-term, which should be super useful for all those future lawsuits. DARPA has a new concept video out for an airplane that could take off and land vertically by changing its wing position and using fan power to get out of town. Basically, ripping off the Avengers sweet ride idea. Is this a submarine? The fans are powered by hybrid electric propulsion. It's what would happen if you mixed a fixed wing aircraft with a helicopter. It's in phase two development, so while this video is an animation, it's really being worked on. Also, they're calling it X-Plane, so you know who this would be good for. Nobody knows more about the importance of packing light than NASA. Checked bag fees are a bitch when you're in space. So to save space and weight, the agency will test lighter, inflatable modules on the International Space Station. The Bigelow Expandable Activity Module, or BEAM, will go up on a SpaceX resupply mission and attach to the space station. Once the six-foot module is secured, astronauts will inflate the BEAM to its full 12-foot depth Equalize the pressure, install the sensors, and test it all for leaks, radiation, and durability. If the module proves itself worthy, NASA could use the technology to send compact and lightweight living and work environments on a mission to Mars. Inflate the pod bay doors, please, Hal. I'm afraid I can't do that, Carrie. And now TLDR, where we sum up the entire week. Microsoft invented a teenaged AI chatbot and set it loose on Twitter, where it quickly learned people are racist and went from annoying tween speak to Hitler loving hatred. So they took it down. Iranian hackers were charged with trying to take over a New York dam. An artificial intelligence written novel passed the first round in a literary competition. Verizon's anti-hacking group was hacked by hackers who then sold the stolen data. And a programming note, we at Engadget are shutting down our common system for a week because sometimes the hate gets out of control. I don't mind the hate so much because I've got that agility cat video.